guys, this is the video about how to insert photos into a Google slide on an iPad. So in a previous video, we have talked about downloading photos from the internet. So I'm just gonna make sure that my photos are in here. I'm gonna check that there are my photos ready to go. I have the photos that I want in there. So I'm gonna click the home button. Now you guys in your Google Classroom already have an assignment made, but you could always start from scratch by going to the Slides app, the Google Slides app. I'm gonna to go to one that is already made for us, but you can go to the Google Slides app and go from there, it would be the same. I'm gonna open up Google Classroom. Now what we're gonna to do today is talk about putting in photos, resizing them and moving them around in a Google Slides presentation on the iPad. If you're on a computer, it's a little bit different but we are gonna talk about doing it on the iPad today, if this loads. All right. So in your classwork, you are going to have, if you're doing it through classwork, you're going to have an assignment that says, Google Slides adding photo or Google Slides practice inserting picture. I'm gonna click on that. I'm going to click on the bottom arrow under here. Here are a list of directions for you to follow, but it's also written in the presentation and we're gonna do it together now. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click on my name and it's going to open up this blank screen or this screen. I need to go to this box up here. I can't do much here. I need to go to the box to open up Google Slides. So now here's Google Slides. It's gonna pop open the assignment that my teacher made for me. Now, each one, we already found these photos. What we're gonna do is now put them into the Google Slides presentation. So it says, what's your favorite TV show or book? Let's look at the directions here. Oops, insert a picture of your TV show here. I'll change that for you. In order to do that, we have to click the plus sign we're gonna to go to from photos, we're gonna click the photo and we're going to click add. So let's start with the first step. Here, we're going to click the plus sign right up here. We get some options. It says insert comment, text, image. I'm gonna click image. Now it says from photos. So I'm gonna click from photos, not camera because I already have my photos downloaded. So the watch again, plus sign, image from photos. Here was what's my favorite TV show. So I'm going to pick the photo that I want. I want my favorite TV show is Arthur and I'm going to click add. All right, we're gonna talk about resizing in a little bit. Let's go to this one and do it again. What's your favorite food? Ready? I go to the plus sign. It says insert on the top. I find the one with the mountains, I-M-A-G-E image from photos, also the one with the mountain and P-H-O-T-O-S photos. Click it and I click a picture of my favorite food. Then I click add up here. See how it gets a check mark when I click it? Now I'm gonna click add. I click as a tap, we'll talk about moving it if I wanna to go to the next slide, I just click on the next slide. So that was two and I just click and now I'm there. What's your favorite animal? So plus sign, image, I-M-A-G-E, the one with the mountains, tap. From photos, P-H-O-T-O-S, the one with the mountain. And I find my animal. I'm gonna choose a horse, A-D-D, it has that blue check mark, add. I wanna to go to the last slide. I'm gonna click on it, just a quick tap. What's your favorite toy? So you guys should know it by now. Plus sign, image, I-M-A-G-E, from photos, P-H-O-T-O-S. I find my photo, look for the blue check mark and click A-D-D. 
Now guys, I do want my photos over here. And so what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to click and drag it. Well, maybe not. Yep, click and drag it. I can drag it anywhere I want. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, I want it to fill the entire box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little corner one and I'm going to drag it out. If you see that red line, it's getting bigger and bigger. That means I made the picture bigger. If I click one of these, the top or the bottom line, it's gonna get longer. When we make it too long or too wide, it looks a little silly. Oops. So I need to move that a little bit out of the way and I'm gonna click it back up. So these blue dots are how you change the size of the picture. Be careful if you change it too much, it's gonna look a little weird, but that's okay. Let's look at that again. Let's go back to slide number one. Now this one's too big and the blue dots aren't there, but don't worry. We're just going to click it. The blue dots are back. The corners are usually the best to move. So look, everything is going to. The top, the length and the width is gonna change when I do the corner. So here's the corner. I made it smaller. It doesn't have to fit the box perfectly. If I want it to, I can take my side and move my side in a little bit. And I can take my bottom and pull it down a little bit. I am simply just clicking on the blue and the blue little boxes and moving them. Let's try this in number two. Now the picture in number two is a little special because it doesn't have any background. That's okay. If you still see what's in the background, that's okay. If you've got a picture that doesn't have background, I'm going to click that blue box on the corner and I am going to make it as big as the box. Let's throw that again, this one, one more time. I want to click it. I want to move it. If I want to move it, I'm just going to take my finger and drag it over. The red lines tell you where it's going to end up. I want to make it bigger, so I'm going to click on the blue box. If the blue box is gone, simply click again. Here it is. And I make it as big as I need it. All right, guys, play around with this. You can make them small. You can make them big. Play around. When you're all done, click the back button. Go back to Google Classroom. So I'm going to click here, my home button. I'm going to go back to Google Classroom. I'm going to click X. It looks like I didn't do anything, but don't worry. I did. It's saved. And I'm going to click turn in, turn in. All right, guys, try that out. Remember, practice makes perfect. It may be a little tricky at the beginning, but don't worry, keep on practicing and you can do it.